Good morning, Facebook land. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. The last couple days of June. Wondering what's going to happen in July. I don't know if anybody saw the, the fun meme that's been flying around with the aliens all standing, saying they're nervous because they're next in line. A lot of funny things happening. From the aliens saying that they're ready and nervous because they're next in line to show up, to someone holding a... Um, man, I don't know what it's called. You know, a gremlin, before a gremlin is a gremlin, about to stick it in the water, saying that that is what may be happening in July. You never know. It's a crapshoot. My favorite, though, has been the idea that there are a group of time travelers, that's right, time travelers, that are trying to fix the problems of 2020, and all they keep on doing is making things worse, butterfly effect. Go figure. So much fun, though, you know, to try to entertain yourself with all of the fun silliness that's happening in 2020, because whew, it's been one hell of a year. So it's almost July. We roll into July, I think, on Wednesday. So let's see what the cards have for us as we get ready to roll into July. What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance do we need? And this morning is the last reading from this beautiful space. My brother and his family head back, are on their way back. They should be here soon. Shell and I will be heading back to Philadelphia shortly this morning. And I feel refreshed. I'm excited to get back. And I don't know, start living again <laughs> in July. That's my goal, to actually start doing some, some things, being productive. Um, so we shall see. But I'm excited. I feel inspired and uh, actually ready to start doing things again. Also, Kundalini classes are coming back uh, in July. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm trying to decide between a Friday night class or a Saturday morning class. So there'll also be a Thursday meeting. Heidi, you are on a roll. Welcome back. Way to, good morning. Way to, way to wake up, I guess. Um, so let's see what our sacred rebels have for us. What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance do we need? Hello, Heather, as we get ready to roll into July and, um, you know, the aliens or who knows what will be showing up in July. So let's see what the cards have for us today. Ah, heaven sent. Heaven sent. What a perfect card to start the week. Good morning, Christy. How are you? Christy, I'm sorry. How are you? So, heaven sent. Heaven sent. Is that because I was just joking around about the aliens coming to the planet in, in July? Heaven sent. Let's see what the book has to say about heaven sent. And sorry, Stell's going to bark because there's a dog walking by. Heaven sent. I opened right up to that page. That never happens. All right, heaven sent. Just as we receive gifts in the physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how much we mean to them, so too we receive gifts on other levels, including a spiritual level. A spiritual gift is something that happens through grace. We can ask for help, and it may be given in response to that request. All requests for help are answered. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all at least not consciously. Sometimes it is our hearts that cry out for help. While we are busy getting on with our to-do list, we don't often stop to think about what our hearts might need. If we do, and an immediate solution is not obvious, we just get on with life, either letting the issue be or taking more painful options of dwelling on it without seeing how it might be resolved. However, there is a loving, but so hard to say that word, benevolent, benevolence in life that knows exactly how we need, how and what we mean, and how it can best come to us, even if we are not quite so clear. This force actively seeks to assist us in walking our life path. That loving sweetness is being offered to you now, 
or soon will be in the form of spiritual gifts. Heaven sent. Your spiritual gift may be symbolic. It may be something that seems ordinary but holds a lot of meaning to you. It might be an object that catches your eye and mesmerizes you. You might think you are appreciating how lovely it looks, but it is the underlining energy that captures you. Hmm, interesting. Heaven sent. I've been reading this book called So You Want to Be a Medium. That's right, So You Want to Be a Medium. And it was going over all different kinds of spirit guides from your joy guide to your doctor guide to your chemist guide to your protector guide. And the neat thing about spirit guides is they're always around us like this, heaven sent. It's always around us. The universe always has our back, but we have to actually initiate it. We have to actually say, hey, spirit guides, I need your help. You have to actually call them in. You actually have to say, hey, can, can, I, get a, can, I, get a little, can I get a little help here? Same with this, heaven sent. As we prepare for July, we should be reaching out to all of our spirit guides and saying, hey, you guys got my back? Hey, I need some protection. Hey, shit's a little bit crazy. Can you show up, fam? Because they're always there. All of your spirit guides are always there. But they're just kind of sitting in, in the background waiting for you to say, guess what? I need some help. And it's kind of like a practice with the ego, right? Because our ego doesn't want to ask for help. So ask. Heaven sent. Let those heavenly angels, guides, ascended masters help you. Let them be there for you. And then pay attention. You know, when you call out to them, start paying attention to little signs, synchronicities, things that start happening within your life. To be like, oh shit, they did show up. They are here and they do have my back. So we're starting out this beautiful Monday with heaven sent. Dreaming. Allowing the goodness from the heavens to come to you. Because you deserve it. Because you're pretty neat. That's right. All of you. Pretty neat. All right. So. Exactly, Sydney. Get humble and ask. As I was reading the book yesterday, I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I have all of these guides. And never, really, do I ever just sit down and be like, yo, team. My spirit team. Can you all show up? I need some help. So now I'm trying to make it more of a daily practice that when I sit down and meditate, I actually take time to humbly ask all of my guides to show up. Good morning, Audrey. And allow them to show up. And allow them to help and support me. Right? Why not? They're there. So, that's part of my new July practice as well. Inviting my guides in every, every morning to be here. You know, maybe they'll need to knock somebody out for me one day. Let's see what we have. Oh, my favorite. My favorite from the Keepers of Light. St. Germain, karma releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy, where's that good energy coming from, heaven, heaven sent from all of your guides, all right, and St. Germain is one of my favorite guides, one of my favorite ascended masters, um, he's come up a lot, and, um, Beautiful mantra that, that I use with St. Germain is, I am a being of sacred fire, purity of heart's desire. So good. So good. I love that. And it's just really quick jumper right there. Um, and it's, it's, it's a great way to invoke St. Germain to come and like help me be with me. I'm a being of sacred fire, purity of God's desire. And allow that sacred flame that St. Germain rolls with to burn through all the bullshit in your life. And the jumper, real quick jumper, uh, trader, exchange energy and create abundance. Exchange energy and create abundance. And again, I have this feeling like July, I'm, I'm coming back online to actually start putting all kinds of goodies out into the world. And maybe you're feeling that move as well, that it's time to actually step up a little bit and start bringing all of your goodness out into the world. And when you bring your goodness out into the world, knowing that you, you're you also worthy of getting paid for it. You're worthy of receiving all of the abundance the universe has for us. And a lot of us in the spiritual world, we kind of do all of these things, and then we just sit back, and we don't actually accept our worth. I've been talking to so many people the last couple of days about feeling of unworthiness, that they're doing all of these things, but they they have a hard time saying, hey, you should probably pay me for that. So the trader is to remind us, Exchange, exchange your energy and create abundance. 
that what you're putting out into the world, you deserve to get paid for. So own it. Own your greatness. Own the abundance that is your birthright. This is so interesting. Notice the colors of these cards. We have the heaven sent, which has this nice kind of purpley, right? All the gifts are coming from heaven. Purple. Saint Germain. Purple. Karma releasing. And then the trader. Notice the color of, of, of the pillow that he's trading. Purple. I'm going to have to look up and see what the significance of purple is. But we have a lot, a lot, a lot of purple happening here. All right, last card for this beautiful Monday to go with heaven sent. All of our gifts are coming to us from the, from the heavens. Saint Germain, karma releasing, make room for good energy. And then the trader, exchange your energy to create abundance. Exchange energy to create abundance and make room for good energy, which is interesting because if we make room, right? If we make room, oh, right, of course, it's the crown chakra. Um, we'll probably, maybe we'll get the crown chakra. That would be awesome. Um, so as St. Germain says, you know, make room for good energy and the trader is exchange energy to create abundance. We need to make room for the energy. We need to make room within our lives so the abundance can come to us. So what are you holding on to? What am I holding on to? What are we all, all holding on to that we can probably let go of that will actually create more space within our life to allow more abundance to flow to us? All right, so let's see what the overall energy is for today. I would absolutely love it if the crown chakra comes flying out. Purple is the color of royalty, which makes sense since it's with the crown. Look at, oh, I love all of you. Thank you for that. Um, you guys are better than Google. Um, all right, so we have obviously all of this crown chakra energy happening. The gifts are coming from the heavens. We're making room for good energy so the abundance can flow in. So our energy, overall energy for the day from this beautiful energy deck is... This one, that card right there. Victory, victory, victory came up last week. Victory is such a great card, especially with all of this. So all of the goodness is coming in. Better than Google. All of the goodness is coming in from heaven. And obviously, right up into the crown. Should have known that, right? But I'm only human. Um, heaven sent. We're making room. Or we're releasing our comma. We, ca comma? We're releasing our ca karma. Um, I'm a being of sacred fire, purity of God's desire. We're exchanging our energy for abundance. And then, bang, victory, 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 victory. Victory is yours. Take the goodies and accept your victory. Accept your greatness. Accept all the goodies that the universe has for you. Because why not, right? Why not? Success and achievement. This card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way, and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success, or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort towards. Enjoy this sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People accept outer triumph to bring great change, but often they may still be inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level. Let yourself be open to victory on every level. And our little affirmation for this beautiful Monday is, I am achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as a success in many wonderful ways, even now. Can you see yourself as success? Can you see yourself as abundant? Can you see yourself being victorious? I can. Can you see it? So wonderful, wonderful pool to start, start the week. I'm feeling lots of good energy, feeling very inspired, which is, which is awesome. That feeling of inspiration and interesting that I have my inspired shirt on, inspire being inspired, um, that that energy is back probably the, the planets or whatever it is. So obviously our crown chakra is, is, is opening up heaven sent. All the goodies are coming. Release the karma, release the drama, make room for all of the goodies, exchange your energy, and guess what? The goodies will come and be victorious.
Embrace it. Embrace your greatness. That's right. Embrace your greatness. That's it. It's going to be a great week. Stay safe. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll have the updated Kundalini info out um, that will be happening in July again. I'm very excited to start teaching. We're going to be doing lots of transformational breathing as well because I've been doing that for the last month. It's really good. It really gets energy moving around. I'm super excited. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being you. Thank you all for being better than Google. Now get out there and allow your crown to open up. Let go of the bullshit. Let the abundance come and claim your victory. Have a great Monday, everybody. I will see you tomorrow back in Philadelphia. Have a great day.